to focus on the music, the money and where I'm headed. If it rain on my parade, I'm gonna umbrella. <laughs> Hey, so what's up everybody? This is my 1966 Mustang project. Um, a little bit about the car. It, well, 1966 has a 289 V8 and it's a five speed manual transmission. So under the hood, we got a 289. It's a V8 motor. Uh, it's got a new distributor that we put on. Uh, there's the brake booster, or there's the vacuums, uh, vacuum to help assist the brakes. There's the new brake booster. Uh, it's, got a re it's got a new top end. It's got new camshaft, new air intake. And I think it's running a 700 CFM carb, I'm pretty sure. And it's carbureted, um, planning to go fuel injection, but uh, this is what I have right now. The car used to have a race cam shaft in it, but I wanted it to be more reliable. So when we redid the top end, because it's the whole rebuilt top end, um, we went with the smaller cam shaft. It still sounds really good. Here's the interior. Uh, it's got an aftermarket GT steering wheel. It was something cheap I found at, uh, I think it was, it was either Harbor Freight or O'Reilly's. It's got a five-speed manual transmission. It was a four-speed manual originally, but it's been changed out. Uh, and yeah, this is the interior. It's actually pretty nice inside. Uh, this was done before, or this was done on the car before I got it. It's also running some shitty wheels, but those will be replaced after I get it started and get more money. So exhaust-wise, I am running um, Flowmasters all the way back. Uh, they used to come out behind the tire. Is really loud so we made it come out the back probably wondering why i haven't made many videos on it and why i'm not driving it but this is because as you can see the drive shaft is on the floor because the rear diff pretty much blew up got a rag in there so originally i got the car back when i was 17 i'm gonna be 21 so it's been about four years when I got it, it was all primered out. There was no bodywork done to it. Uh, it had a big race cam in it. It was like really hard to maintain. Um, had a 600 CFM carb, pretty sure. Uh, it had it had manual steering and manual brakes, so the car did not turn and it did not stop. So after getting the car for the longest time, the main thing we focused on was bodywork and to get it painted. Uh, did that for about a summer. When I got it, it was about two months. Uh, it's not perfect. There's a lot of imperfections. I just wanted to get it done, and I should have waited, but uh, that's my that's my fault. Uh, what we've done to the car is kind of like what I mentioned. So we installed power steering. We installed power brakes, uh, new brake booster. Uh, the car has low vacuum, so when pushing the brakes, it would want to stall, so we installed an extra canister to help with the vacuum. So... It, so it helps the car with the vacuum. Uh, so it's got new heads with uh, better compression. It's got a mild camshaft, but it's still more for power. And got a new air intake. Just put the seat, the 700 car, 700 carburetor on it. And the car was running okay until uh, we blew up the rear diff. Uh, it's got the exhaust all the way back. I think that's about what we've done on the car. Put a lot of money into it so far. Right now, I'm working on getting a new rear differential. Uh, I want to get a housing that's aluminum. It's supposedly it's supposed to be stronger than the steel one. I don't know how, but um, that's kind of what I need because with the top end kit that it has on it, it's rated at about 400 wheel and for a little over 415, 420 torque. So uh, the stock rear end could not handle the power and on a launch, it pretty much just broke and then it had to be towed home. Hopefully I have some pictures. Um, so once I get that part, I'll start doing the videos on it. Uh, it was running okay when we parked it, but it's definitely got to be tuned. Gas got to be drained. And I really want to go fuel injection because carburetors kind of suck, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, so that's kind of just an update on the Project 66 Mustang. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, hopefully when I start doing more videos on it, I'll get into the stories about the car. Because there's some pretty good ones, and but it'd make more sense if it's you know more about the car. So this is just the first update, and hope pretty soon there'll be a lot more. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.